Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Live Brie, and today I am back to my channel with a haul video. I do have a lot of other hauls recorded, however, I still have to edit those. So I'm gonna get those out later. Um, a lot of them are just like the clearance stuff from Hobby Lobby and like just sales you can pick up at Michael's or Joann's like on any other day that they have the sale. So even if I get them out a little late, I apologize if the sale is over, but if you just wait and then the sale comes back, you guys can grab the items. I'm just only telling you that because I am going to be having some hauls that I've recorded before this one. But I really wanted to show you guys this because I have been waiting for this collection to come out since January. It's the Maggie Holmes Garden Party and you guys, I'm super excited. I placed a pre-order on a cherry on top a while ago, like probably a couple months ago, and um, I am waiting on that order, but then Frank Garcia, he always comes out with it real quick, so I did pick up some stuff like on top of my cherry top haul um, for my collection um, in my room <laughs> for me to have, and so this is the Frank Garcia haul. I do also just or actually I just placed a scrapbook.com order today as well so I am going to have that coming in as well but yeah I'm super excited um, I've been waiting for this collection to drop so finally it's here um, I know I, I, it's just a collection but I just really love this collection for the colors and all the papers so super excited um, the only thing I wasn't able to get that I'm super sad about were the paper pads Luckily, I did do pre-orders on the 12 by 12s on a cherry on top, but they're sold out too. Um, Scrapbook.com doesn't have them available, but I definitely want the 6x8 pads. They just sell out real fast. It's so crazy. Um, and I, was, I wasn't even, I don't know why, but I didn't even think about pre-ordering those on a cherry on top. Anyway, I talk a lot. Let's go ahead and just get started. So... Here it is. I'm super excited. Okay, so here is the Frank Garcia um, little card. I always save these. I love his little cards. Karen is always the one that um, packages up my stuff. So thanks, Karen, for always dealing with my heavy orders. Um, I always keep those because there's always a discount code for when you purchase with him. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I grabbed. It does look like a lot, but that's because I did pick up a lot of the same stuff. Okay, and I'm taking out the um, tissue paper because I don't want you guys to get annoyed by that. So we'll go ahead and just start off with, um, I guess, the papers and stuff. Just so that way these can go out the way. Okay. So I did pick up quite a bit of the floral sheets because you guys, I love the florals in this um, collection and as you guys can see, it's just super bright. I really love this pink rose pattern, or I don't even know if these are roses, yeah, pink rosebuds. And these are just so pretty. I love the hint of like purple and just love this paper. So I did pick up quite a bit of these ones. The back is this purple print. It reminds me of Tangled for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, I did pick up that. This one is called, yeah, Pink Rosebuds. This one is called Freshly Picked. I picked up quite a bit of these ones too. I really love these large florals. I've never seen this, like large scaled floral print before in any of your collections. So I was super excited to see this. And the um, back is just a plain um, black polka dot print on a white background. And then um, this one I just got two of, but it just has like these little animals on a farm. And I love just like that pink and white. Um, it's just not too heavy. It's very subtle. I love the little um, green room here. So cute. And then just the black and white. Ooh, that messes with your eyes. Sorry, guys. Um, it's just a black and white chevron. It's a zigzag um, chevron, so it kind of messes with me with your eyes a little bit. Um, there's that one. This one is super cute, too. Um, this one I got a bunch of, too. 
and this one is called Wildflower. I love this print. Love all the colors in this collection. That is why I went crazy buying stuff and I was super excited because this is right up my alley. So I did pick this up and this looks like a wallpaper print. It's just this stripe pattern with blue and white. So there's that one. And then another one of these um, like little uh, farm animal ones with the greenhouse and little prairie house type thing and it's a blue one instead. I thought that was super cute. And then the black is just this um, gingham pattern. Super cute. <laughs> I love this one too. I'm, I'm not a fan of the gray background though. I kind of wish it was a white background. But it's gray in the back and then it has all these little cakes. Um, I did purchase this die from KS Craft recently and it's like a cake die. Actually, I've purchased it a while ago. It's just been sitting in my stash of dies and so I need to use it. So I thought this was perfect. Um, definitely giving me ideas. Um, here's the back. It's just a really bright pink um, like flannel type print. Super cute. So I did pick up that sheet. And then I got a bunch of these because I really love the tickets. So this one here are just like the cut aparts. It has a 3 by 4 card, some little labels. Um, it comes with tickets and tags. I always love getting a bunch of these. I love all of them. And then this is super cute with the little house. It has a house and then the swans. So it's super cute. Can't wait to play with this collection. Every time I get a collection though, I never really start um, working with it for until like a while because I end up working with her older collections first because I end up having them. And so I want to use those up first. But yeah, super cute. I love this paper. I also love this one. Like I'm obsessed with this one because I love like all the little pieces. And you can definitely just cut these up and you can... Um, use them with all her other collections because all the colors that she usually has they always blend with each other and all her other collections so I did pick up a bunch of these and I'm hoping I could just cut these all out with my trimmer and then just save them in like a little bin and just use them whenever I need um, to use them and then the back is oh I didn't realize the back on this because I was so obsessed with the front um, it's just this like bow pattern on a black background super cute sorry the contrast in like is kind of messing with my camera all the black um yeah so i did get a bunch of those i love this yellow like damask type print it has the floral piece here love this mustard color and then there's just like this grid pattern super cute love this i didn't i realized i don't grab too many of those but I kind of wish I did. And then there's this bumblebee and fly pattern. I'm not a huge fan of her like bumblebee and fly things, but um, because I'm not a huge fan of those in real life. Um, but yeah, so um, they're the bees. Oh, these aren't flies, they're bees. But yeah, so there's that. And then the back, I mainly got it for this. It's just kind of like a solid mustard color with this tone on tone like circle, dotted circle. Super cute. And then this one is a like house print. It's cottages and greenhouses. Super cute. I love this print too. I only grabbed a couple of these too. Kind of wish I grabbed more. And then this is the same pattern, kind of like this one here. I only grabbed one of these. Um, this is just like a black and white um, watercolored rose print. Super cute. I actually really love this. I don't know why I don't grab too many of them. I don't even think I grabbed any on scrapbook.com. But yeah, it has this pink gingham. 
and I love this pattern. I did pick up a couple of these as well. It has this like hand painted ombre. It's so cute. I love these colors together. And then this like flower print back here. And what I noticed with this collection, the whole back piece of this label strip is a pattern. Because before it used to just be a little sliver on the edge and then it'll say like all of the um, the same stuff here. So I noticed that that switched up a little bit. So that's super exciting because I love using these strips. I never throw those out. So that's super cute. Perfect for spring projects. Then this one here. It's just like um, wood, um, wood pattern, and then I really love this, so I did pick this up for this back side mainly. And what else? So there's that one. Just want to be able to get the patterns in here for you guys. Hope you guys can see them. That one. And then this, um, I noticed that there's a lot of patterns too in her collections. So this one here I got, um, this polka dot pattern, um, and it looks like there's just like hand drawn circles. And in the back are these really pretty birds, like robins. So I did pick up this. Super cute. Love this floral pattern for y'all. This pattern is everything. It has this like really bright like peach or like blush pink color on the flowers. I don't know if you guys can catch it, but it even has like all the yellow. I just love these colors together. If you guys know, I love pink and um, mustard yellow together. So this is definitely my paper right here something I'm going to obsess over and hoard. Love this pattern so much. Um, I just love it. I love all the clustering too. And then the back, I'm glad I'm not too fond of because I wouldn't really use this unless I was die cutting something and I needed green. So I'm super excited for that one. And then there's this like blue one, just like the pink one. Super pretty. Grabbed a couple of those. I don't really work with blue, but you know, you need a little bit of all the sheets because you'll regret it. Trust me. You'll be like, I won't use it, but you'll end up needing it and it'll be worth buying a couple of. Um, and then I did get this mandala looking print. And this is the back. Really love this yellow stripe. love this floral as well. I love this floral so much I didn't realize the back. Um, I just fell in love with it so much. This reminds me of like Alice in Wonderland. It's giving me that kind of vibe. Like these flowers right here. Sorry about that guys. My camera kind of just like shut off on me. Um, yeah so I really love that black background and then having all those pastel colors just pop off. So it's definitely a really pretty pattern. I love this one so much. I did grab a couple sheets of those. Not as many as I did with like this pattern, but yeah. And then I didn't notice the back. So it has these really cute like little words and stuff that you can hand cut, use as a whole sheet, but I really love them. Super cute. I'm so sad I didn't notice this side, but yeah, so there's that one. Grabbed a couple of these. They have foxes, porcupines, porcupines, I said they're all weird, porcupines, rabbits, and squirrels, and then it has like all these little vineries, vineries, these vines just around the animals, and then this pink diamond, super cute, and a couple more sheets, I brought a bunch of these, because another pattern I'm obsessed with love this sheet you guys obsessed with it and then this is the back i love that the back is just this plain like grid pattern because if you're doing like 3d projects it's really cute to just have a pink in like inner part and then having this really pretty pattern on the outside super cute love that one 
And then last one, um, that was it for the garden party. I did pick up a couple of sweet story stuff because they were 55 cents in his clearance section. So I did pick these up because I had them in my scrapbook.com cart. So why not get them for 55 cents from his site and also to support him. Um, so I did grab these one because I love this pattern so much and it look it it goes with this collection just as well and then I also have this in my scrapbook.com cart as well so it was perfect because I would have gotten way like a bunch of these for full price or like a dollar four these are 55 cents I really loved this this is from the sweet story collection as well I just love this like hand painted paper so I did grab a couple sheets of those. Just grabbed one of these from the Sweet Story collection. He only had one left, so just grabbed the last one. Again, I really love these cut aparts because you can always cut off the little images. Um, you don't even have to use it as a whole. And I love the tags. So these are always my favorite are the element sheets. And then I grabbed two more of these. These are the little black and white florals, but I've mainly got it for this back piece. And again, you can use this one for like with this collection. As you guys can tell, like it doesn't, they kind of look like they all can just go with each other. Um, this one I think is from, yeah, Fresh Bouquet. So I got those. And then, yes, I did go crazy buying chipboard. So I did buy a bunch of the chipboard for this collection because I love it so much. So I did grab quite a bit of these. He had like 30 in stock. I grabbed, I think, six. But then I went back there the next day. They were all gone, you guys. So I was glad that I picked this up because when I went on his website, I was like, okay, I'm going to see if he, like, has it because he usually will email that the new collections that he has. This was not in an email. So I was super glad I went on there because a lot of stuff was already sold out, but this wasn't. So um, I did grab that. And then, yes, I did grab some of the stickers. Um, these Sweet Story stickers were clearanced out for $2.99. So I picked up four of them because they were only $2 or 3 bucks. And usually these are like 6 so they're about 50% off. So I did repurchase some of the Sweet Story ones. And then I just picked up two of the Garden Party ones. Super cute. Love these. They're so cute. Love all the images on here. And I need to get my printer going because I definitely will buy the digitals um, once I get my freaking printer to start. I just have it's been a pain in the butt, honestly, since I've been moving a lot. The Wi-Fi whole situation thing trying to connect it has just been a pain in the butt. Um but anyway. Um, I did pick up one of the resin heart stickers. I love these. These are about six bucks. I think with the sale, it's still like five dollars. Like if you get them on scrapbook.com or something, but it's all good as long as you use it. So I did pick up a pack of those. I did buy quite a bit of the puffy stickers. I love puffy stickers and chipboard now. Before I used to never just buy the puffy stickers and chipboard. I would just get one of each or not even get them at all. And lately I've just been so in love with them. So yes, I did pick up quite a few. But I didn't grab all of them because um, it'll tell you how many of them they have. So I did pick up those and they're just so cute, you guys. So those are the puppy stickers, and then I'll just show you guys the chipboard again because I don't think I did like a really close up view of them. Super cute, love that. And then the last thing that I picked up were the ephemeras. I did pick up three of them. Super cute, and I'll open one just so that way you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so I just have this little like tray and 
just quickly show you guys. Okay. So, I'll start with the larger ones. I am going to put them back, so I don't want to um, combine them. But here's this one. Love this Polaroid. I love how bright this tag is and has all that gold foiling. Super cute. I love this tag. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with tags. Like, I have been, and you guys should know that for those of you that have been following me forever. Um, and then there's this, like, ledger paper. Perfect for layering, making embellishments and stuff, because sometimes I just don't use those. But, um, yeah, so. And there's this one. It says, my happy place. And if you're not into this whole, like, centerpiece, you can definitely layer on top of it and just have that bottom piece show through. There's this vellum piece. And two more vellum pieces. There's the bird and the little wreath. This house. Pink house, super cute. The green house. If I ever get to the point where I'm building my own home, I want a greenhouse. Chris and I love plants. We just don't want to have them around the baby at the moment. This one says, how lovely the silence of growing things. Super cute. I love that. This little ticket type thing. Could definitely turn this into like an embellishment, a huge embellishment. <laughs> this is like a seed packet for poppies. Another tag. I was like trying to figure out if there were more tags because usually she has a lot of tags in her ephemeras. But yeah, there's this here. That one's a vellum piece, another vellum piece. Sunshine on my mind. And then some larger pieces. It says you shine. Super cute, I love this one. This one here, like a library pocket card and then it has like this floral piece or like damask piece there in the center. And then another tag. I love this tag. So cute. It has that pattern, that pink floral pattern. And then there are these ones that you can just tear and use. They're little labels. Little focus. And then this one too right here. This one, um, these ones are little flags. I really love these. You just like, they're perforated and you just fold them up and tear them off just like a ticket. So there's that one. All right, and then for the smaller pieces, um, I will remember which ones are smaller. Um, there's this one here. There's this one. Kind of wish she had like a separate floral pack because I definitely would have bought multiples of the floral packs like she usually has. Well, she has them for some collections actually, but I feel like with this one, you definitely she should have definitely had like a um, floral pack. I feel like that would have been a hit. A swan. That's something she's known for, are her swans. Her bows. Can never go wrong with the bows. Super cute. These you can tear apart. They're little mini tags. More flowers. Frame. Another tag. So there are more tags. This one has gold foiling. This um, vellum flower. A frame. Gold frame. Scallop frame too. Super cute. I love this. Super cute. A couple more. This one says love. A um, vellum gold foiled bow. Says you and me with a little washi tape on top. I love that it's like showing through kind of. Heirloom roses. It's like another seed packet. Love this pattern you guys. Another frame. And this one is like a blue color. 
another um, seed packet. It says wildflower seeds. Vellum floral. Pink floral piece. And the fox. But yeah, so that was it for the garden party for this haul. Um, this, again, was from Frank Garcia. Definitely check them out if you guys are interested in some of this stuff. Um, in case he still has some. Uh, you know that he, sometimes he does, like, refill or restock on his website, too. So definitely just keep on checking. Um, check out some other websites, too. But I really hope you guys can get your hands on this collection. It's a really pretty collection. And I hope you guys have a great day, whatever day it is that you guys are watching this. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!